What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 22, Problem 8 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Jural Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 22 is all about electric fields, and in Problem 8, we have two charged particles that are some distance apart from each other, and we're asked to find the coordinate in which the electric field is zero, and make a sketch of the net electric field lines. And so for part A, we're finding the spot in which E net is zero. So E net is equal to zero, which means that the electric field of particle one is equal to the electric field of particle two at that specific point between the two particles. And so we can write those out and say K Q one over R one squared is equal to kq2 over r2 squared where k is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon sub 0 and you can write it either way I just write it as a k in this case just because it's easier and less you have to write so it's just less to keep track of and in this case we actually have k on both sides so we can cancel them out so I'll cancel out those k's, and I'm also going to expand out uh, all the values. And so we're told that q1 is negative 5q, and so negative 5q divided by r1. So the distance from charge 1 to our point in space where the electric field is 0. And so I'm just going to say that distance is x. So this is x squared, and so then this is equal to charge 2, which is... 2q divided by our second distance, which in the figure that we're given, the distance between the two particles is L, and I just defined the distance from charge 1 to our point where E is 0 as x, and so that means that this distance is L minus x. So this is L minus x squared. And so now we have q on both sides, so we can cancel those out, and we're left with negative 5 over x squared is equal to 2 over L minus X squared. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this negative and put it in here and swap these around. And so this becomes 5 over X squared is equal to 2 over X minus L squared. I'll explain why I did that in just a minute. And so now what we can do is divide both sides by 2 and then multiply both sides by X squared. And so that's going to leave us with 5 over 2 is equal to x squared over x minus l squared. And so this is why I moved that negative, because now you would have had a negative 5 halves, and I want to take the square root of both sides, and I can't take the square root of a negative number unless I want to introduce complex numbers, and I really do not want to do that. And so if we take the square root of both sides, we get the square root of 5 over 2 is equal to x over x minus l. And so now we can multiply both sides by x minus l, and this is going to leave us with the square root of 5 over 2 times x minus the square root of 5 over 2 times l is equal to x. And now we're going to move our square root of 5 halves x over to the other side, and so we get negative square root of 5 halves times l is equal to x minus the square root of 5 halves times x. And now we can take out an x, and we'll have negative square root of 5 halves times L is equal to X times 1 minus the square root of 5 halves. And now we can divide our 1 minus square root of 5 halves to the other side, and we'll get that X is equal to negative square root of 5 halves times L over 1 minus the square root of 5 halves. And if you plug all of that into your calculator, you'll find that your X value which is the point where your electric field is zero, is equal to 2.72 times L. And so that's it for part A, and I guess part B I'll just do right here. So for part B, we're asked to draw the electric field lines. So what we have here is we have two particles. Let's just draw them out and say that's one particle, and that's one particle. And so we're told this one is negative 5q and that this one is positive 2q. 
And so we already have a magnitude difference where this one is a bit stronger. And so the electric field lines that go to this particle will be straighter for a greater distance than this particle. And also electric field lines will always move from your positive charge to your negative charge. And so we'll have one field line that just goes straight to the particle. And then we're going to have a bunch more that bow out of here and flow in straight here. Like that. And let's say we just draw one more. And so your electric field should look something like that. And what I meant by straighter for longer distance here is if you can see, instead of it being a symmetrical distance like this, you have a little more curve on this side because your electric field has a greater magnitude in this area due to this greater charge. And so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have a question or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.